Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today's Words for Life is number 46 and I quote, Oftentimes, when you think, I don't want to be like that person, you end up, you will end up becoming just like them. Uh, Words for Life number 46. Oftentimes, when you think, I don't want to be like that person, you will end up becoming just like them. Thank you, Master Yohokawa. Another sentence that really, really changed my life and is helping me change my life right now. This is literally like a gem. Uh, it's, it's, it's such a powerful treasure. This sentence, this teaching is a treasure for my life. At first, when I encountered this teaching, I was like, what in the world does he mean? Because you don't like that person, why, why would you end up being a person that you don't like? But the more I, over the years, after I've been studying my own mind and observing other people's minds and my own life and other people's lives, I have come to the conclusion that Master Liu Hokao is 100% right. First and foremost, the reason why we don't like someone is because we can see the negative aspect in them. And the reason why we can see a negative aspect in them is because we ourselves also have it, have that same tendency, have that same vice, that negative, that negative tendency or the negative um, way of thinking is also inside of us. That's why we can catch it also. So once you start, once you awaken to this truth, this enlightenment, every time, you know, when you have a bad relationship with someone, we suffer, right? Why do we have to meet this guy or her? But then how happy scientists think under Alcantara's teachings is that, wait a minute, let's push the pause button. Uh, let's check and see the situation. If I'm hating this person so much or disliking him so much, it means that there's something inside of me too. And then the vector of our eyes, instead of blaming them and cursing them, we start becoming more introspective and we start looking within. And then we start to reflecting on ourselves. And the more we reflect on ourselves, we do understand that we have the same tendencies. And then we reflect on the past of how we ourselves hurt other people just the same way that person is hurting us right now. So... Uh, and when you start thinking like this, forgiveness wells up, understanding wells up, and you start seeing that person in a totally different perspective, and then that is how a human relationship is solved. For me, this has worked every single time. So, um, yeah, I, you know, I, at first you may be like, what is Master saying? But trust me, this is so true. I mean, let's look at people's lives. Have you noticed that when, let's say that um, a daughter born in a household with an abusive father, she ends up marrying a man who's abusive. Let's say that there is um, a girl in a household, a girl who did not like alcoholic parents, but then she ends up becoming an alcoholic or her husband becomes an alcoholic. This is a pattern, a psychological pattern that we truly do see in real life. So please don't brush off this sentence that doesn't feel like it doesn't fit or doesn't... Because it's not an easy sentence to take in. Let's admit it. It's not easy. It's actually asking you to change while you want to 100% justify your stance. So it's hard. That's why... Let's humbly understand that these words aren't coming from a human, but it's God's hundred sentences of how to live a happier life. And let's be humble in front of the truth. Then I promise you, you will see an unbelievable way of solving our relationship issues that you would have never thought of. So, um, yeah, those are my thoughts. Uh, what did you think? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section. That's it for today. See you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.